Good morning, students. Welcome. Happy New Year. Hope you are doing well. Successfully, we completed problem number thirteen to twenty-two. Now we are doing problem number twenty-three. Little bit of modifications. Twenty-second problem. We did only one lecture. That is cash lecture. Remembering it as our cash wallet. Wallet. Now we are in this twenty-third problem. One more lecture, sales lecture. Also, we prepare. Remember, students, the general entries we are passing based on the rules. These rules are debit the receiver, credit the giver of personal account. What comes in debit to what goes out credit to real account. All losses and expenses debit. All gains and incomes credit per nominal account. Okay, students. One more new thing is there in this problem number twenty-three. That is the opening entry. When the business was started with the assets and liabilities, we have to pass opening entry. Business is started with cash. Cash. Stock. And Kanna and Co. Nirman and Co. कृपाल कृपा कृपाल कृपाल एंड को मित्र से Okay, students, you may be remembered our accounting equation. Assets is equal to liabilities plus capital. So assets are there. Now liabilities are there. We have to equate right to capital. Now we will find the amounts. Twenty thousand, twenty-five thousand, twenty thousand, fifteen thousand, credit amounts are liabilities amounts, credit cards, ten thousand. Five thousand. Now forty-five, sixty-five, eighty thousand minus fifty thousand, sixty-five thousand is the capital. What is the formula for capital? Assets minus liabilities is equal to capital. What is our accounting equation? Assets is equal to assets is equal to liabilities. Plus capital, plus capital. Assets total is how much? Eighty thousand is equal to liabilities how much? Fifteen thousand, and the capital may be sixty-five thousand. Okay, so sixty-five thousand is the balance figure. Balance figure. 
okay which we got by using accounting equation what is accounting equation is what accounting equation is assets is equal to liabilities plus capital i want to know capital assets minus liabilities i want to know liabilities assets minus capital i want to know assets then liabilities plus capital okay student so 65000 is the balance figure now january second date january second date is sold goods to karmakar subject to trade discount of 10% amount is 10000 what we sold goods goods are going out to whom we sold karmakar okay karmakar is the माइनस टेन पर्सेंट वन थाउजेंड इज इक्वल टू नाइन थाउजेंड रिमेम्बर स्टूडेंट ट्रेड डिस्काउंट शुड नॉट बी रिकॉर्डेड इन बुक्स Trade discount should not be recorded in books. That's why we recorded net amount goods sold to Karnataka on credit. On credit. Okay. So sales amount is ten thousand. Discount is ten percent. Ten thousand ten percent is one thousand. So ten thousand minus one thousand is equal to thousand is equal to how much amount? Nine thousand. Okay, clear. I think this entry you got this entry. I think okay. Next to fourth transaction is fourth date transaction is. Received from Netman and Co. Discount allowed five hundred. Look at uh, Netman in first general entry. He has to give fifteen thousand, but he gave fourteen thousand five hundred. Discount is five hundred. So we received cash. We received cash of. Cash account data. Cash amount received is fourteen thousand five hundred. Discount account data. Is it allowed or received? Allowed discount. टू कर्माकर हम बूम भी रिसीव निर्माण एंड तो आई थिंक यस निर्माण इज गिवन निर्माण एंड तो अमाउंट इज फिफ्टीन थाउजेंड लुक एट फर्स्ट जन लेंट्री निर्माण एंड तो हैज टू गिव फिफ्टीन थाउजेंड He gave fourteen five hundred. Five hundred is lost to us as this count allowed. All losses are to be debited according to nominal account.
you can hope you understood candle entry on fourth date okay scheduled mitra sen and co account after deducting 5% cash discount students in on second date we had a trade discount 1000 rupees we were not recorded but on eighth date it is cash discount we have to record okay trade discount should not be disclosed in accounts cash discount should have to be recorded in accounts okay students so mitra sen and co amount is how much mitra sen amount is 5000 discount amount is how much 5% Entry will be we are paying to Mitra Sen Mitra Sen account. Right? Mitra Sen account data right? to cash account. to discount received account right mitra sen amount is 5000 discount is how much percentage 5% 5000 into 5% tell me how much amount Five percent to five thousand. How much amount? Two fifty. So balance amount we pay to Mitra Sen in the form of cash. That is four seven five zero. Okay. Now the entry is Mitra Sen account settled. Yeah. And narration is Mitra Sen account settled with the discount. Okay, I'll make it. I will increase the font size for better view. Okay, right. Next date is tenth one. Before tenth, I will explain once again eighth. Okay, in the first journal entry, Mitra Sen is a creditor. He has to give five thousand. So he approached us. i will settle my account if you provide 5% discount okay no problem we are getting cash now so we told him okay no problem so he paid amount we paid amount to him after deducting discount amount 250 then 4750 cash 5% of 5000 is 250 okay next entry next date is 10th purchase stationery stationery account data to cash account stationery account data to cash account why stationery is debited can you remember because it is expense all expenses are all expenses are debit to cash account Amount is hundred. Narration is stationery expenses paid. Next to twelfth paid rent for the month. Same rent is expense. Rent is a expense. Rent account data to cash account. Rent account data to cash account. Rent paid. Narration is rent paid. Amount is two fifty. Okay. 
ओके नेक्स्ट बॉन्ड बॉन्ड गुड्स फ्रॉम के एंड को थर्टी थाउजेंड वॉट वी परचेज गुड्स वी परचेज गुड्स आर कमिंग इन so instead of goods we can write purchases purchase from data from sk and co amount is 30000 Goods purchased on credit. Many people are having doubt. If goods are purchased, why we are writing purchases? If goods are sold, why we are writing as a sales? Okay. Instead of goods, we are writing purchases and sales. Goods purchased on credit. Sixteenth date, paid Kripal Brothers in full settlement of account. Kripal Brothers, Kripal Brothers first general entry, ten thousand rupees. We paid nine thousand five hundred. Five hundred rupees is five hundred rupees is profit to us. Then the entry will be Kripal Brothers is receiver now. Receiver will be debited. All brothers, We paid nine thousand five hundred, and we got benefit of five hundred. That is discount. Okay, here it percentage was not maintained. That's why directly amount we are taking. Kripal Brothers account settled with the discount. Twenty date twenty. With due cash for personal expenses. With due cash for personal expenses. Whenever you find personal, write drawing. Whether it is goods or cash. Drawing account to data. To cash account. <laughs> Amount is five hundred. Amount is how much? Five hundred. Cash withdrawn for personal use. As withdrawn for personal use. If the goods withdrawn for personal use instead of cash, we have to write purchase. Issued a credit note to Mr. Karmakar for the goods damaged in transit. Karmakar. That is. Credit note is sales returns. Okay. Karma kar. Sold goods to karma karna. So we issued a credit note to karma kar. 
सेल्स डिटेल्स अकाउंटेंट है अमाउंट इज वन थाउजेंड गुड्स रिटर्न बाय Next twenty fifth date return goods to S and O and received their credit note. So we returned goods is nothing but a purchase returns. So purchases are debit, purchases returns are credit. We return goods to whom? S K and Co. S K and Co. Account data to purchase returns account. Amount is. narration goods returned to sk and paid sk and co on account discount allowed 250 We pay to yes can go yes can go account data to cash account to discount account. It is ten thousand. Account paid is ten thousand. Discount received is zero two fifty. Total amount is zero ten thousand two. S K and Co account is zero. Settled our amount paid to S K and Co with the discount. Cash sales very simple. Cash sales very simple. Cash account data to sales account. Cash account data to sales account. Amount is twenty thousand. Sold for cash. Salaries, paid salaries, salaries are expenses. To cash. Is fifteen hundred. Salary is paid.
Okay? These are the channel entries we passed against the transactions by using accounting language. That is conversion of transactions into channel entries with the help of types of accounts as well as their rules as well as their rules. So all the general entries which we prepared are based on these types of accounts. Are you able to see these types of accounts as well as the rules of the accounts? Types of accounts as well as the rules of the accounts. Okay. So after this step, after this general entries, we have to prepare ledger accounts. We have to prepare ledger accounts. So what, what about the ledger? Ledger is a, a consolidated book. Consolidated book related to a, a particular account. Earlier, all cash related transactions we prepared in earlier ledger and this is a old type of ledger. Presently all are computerized. And this ledger we prepared earlier. And in this problem also you tried with the you tried with the cash ledger. Okay, students. Bye. We we'll meet you in the next problem. Then next problem. Bye.